I'm sure you've heard that Nikon has just announced their new 400mm f2.8 VR S-Line lens with a built-in teleconverter. And I've got it right here after testing it for 10 days in Kenya, in the Maasai Mara. So let's hear more about it. I'm Roy Gallitz. Like and subscribe for more. And I'm going to tell you everything there is to know about this lens. So first thing to notice about this lens is that it is light. It's completely light. I mean, it's way, way lighter than the older 400 f2.8. Really easy to hold with one hand, handheld shooting, not any more that heavy bulk weight that you need to carry around. So that's the first, first thing that you notice about this lens. It's also relatively shorter than the other one. It's a new design. Uh, we've got some new controls and everything around it. But the first thing we noticed is that teleconverter that we have here, just like the 108 to 400 f4, uh, the same technology, but better. So it, this teleconverter is amazingly sharp and even sharper than the other one and delivers very good results. The lens itself is f2.8 with 400 millimeter f2.8. And when you put on the teleconverter, it's f4. So you get 560 millimeter with f4 aperture, which is pretty great. Put it somewhere in the, in the mid range between the 500 f4 and the 600 f4, but very, very sharp. I mean, just like the 500 and 600 f4, you've got this 560 f4 with the same sharpness, which is great. The focus system is very, it's, it's a new engine. It's a voice coil engine for the focus drive. Uh, it's very silent. You can't hear anything. Also, I hardly can hear anything. So it's very silent and, and it's really, really, really fast. First, we have four buttons, which we can program to do whatever we want. We've got one ring moving here that we can use it to change the ISO and the uh, aperture. We've got another ring here. We can also program that to use to change the ISO or aperture or whatever we want. And we've got the focus ring right over here. Uh, plus we have this new, the newly designed filter, uh, back filter that we can, uh, extract over here and put it right back. Uh, other than that, we've got the, uh, function button over here, uh, manual and out of focus over here. And we've got the full range or focus limiter, six meter to infinity. Uh, all of that is on the lens itself. So this lens incorporates a newly developed VR vibration reduction, uh, which has two modes, sport mode and the normal mode. The sport mode is used for everyday photography situation when you need to move around and normal mode is only when you're static and really, really, really low light. So it can hold up to five stops of vibration reduction. So I've actually shot with this lens at one of a thirtieth of a second and got incredibly sharp results. How to believe they were handheld and not held with not used with the tripod, but I did shoot these photos handheld. One more thing about this lens is that it, ha it has new coating to reduce ghosting and flare. So I did try a lot of that just to see how well it behaves with that. I've shot a lot of images with as much backlight and hard scenarios as possible. I really wanted to push this lens to the limit and it delivered. So this lens is meant for the mirrorless cameras. So we already see that shift with uh, Nikon that they're giving up on the old F mount and everything is moving to the Z mount. So this lens actually connects directly to the body. As you can see here with the Nikon Z9, everything's uh, connected directly. How easy it is to use when uh, photographing animals, actually it's so fast to switch the teleconverter that while shooting a chase, the cheetah is chasing the gazelle, I actually had to change in and out of the teleconverter while shooting. So it's actually just like using a zoom ring, but with this, only two modes, 400 and 560. So as you could zoom in with the whatever lens you're using, the 180 to 400 or whatever, the same thing is just with a flick of a button. 
One of the more amazing thing about this lens is the bokeh. I mean, the out of focus blur, the cycle of confusion in professional terms. And if you look at these images, look at that creamy, fluid bokeh in the background. Looks like it was shot in the studio. I think this lens has the best bokeh, the best out of focus blur I have ever seen. Regarding price range, uh, it's not going to be a cheap lens. Let me warn you about that. Um, this lens uh, will be, I think, one of the more expensive lenses because mainly it incorporates the newest technologies. Plus, it's an f2.8 lens. I mean, it has. Uh, it's going to be expensive with the teleconverter and the coating and and the new uh, elements. Uh, I mean, it's state of the art, top of the line, newest technology there is out there. So it's not going to be cheap, but if you're into wildlife or sports photography, it's well going to be worth it. I mean, it's two lenses with one. So it's a 400 2.8 and a 560 f4 with one lens with a flip of a button. So I'm Roy Gallit. Thanks for watching. I really hope you'll enjoy this review and this lens. And I can't wait to go out to the field again with this lens and try out, try it out some more. So again, uh, please remember to like, subscribe and write in the comments below if you think this lens is worth it.